We're going to give you guys a bonus live Q&A on today's show. You guys know the drill, hashtag Cowboys or Super Chat. Elijah Williams, how are you celebrating if the Cowboys win the Super Bowl? First off, we'll be live. Second off, getting hammered drunk. Like, I'm just, just going to go out there, drink all of the alcohol. Like, just that's how I'm going to celebrate. Not so much that I won't remember the game, but enough to have a good time, you know? All right, Jordan Jamerson. If Cheeto has a breakout year, will he get an extension? Maybe, right? Like, if, if he plays the way the Cowboys think he could, I think they would consider it. I don't know what the salary cap's going to look like. How much is Cheeto asking for? Can you get him on a way lower than Byron Jones deal? Can you get him maybe $9 million per year? That would be more of the Cowboys' price tag range if he has a breakout year. So it's possible but a breakout year for Awuzie also might price himself out of Dallas in the end. All right, Jay Cochran, Johnny, uh, what are the chances that our top three receivers get 1,000 yards apiece? Pretty low in all reality. Let me get a drink. Because it doesn't happen very often. And even in the more pass-happy NFL, we've seen less and it's not happening. You saw the Cardinals do it way back when. That was the last time. You could get close. I, I could see the Cowboys getting close. All three getting over around 800 again is very possible. But three for 1,000, Cowboys have maybe the best chance of any team in the NFL to pull it off. But I'm still going to bet no on that one. From Brandon Mata, Zeke's cousin, uh, what's our top five necessities for the upcoming season? Okay. Um, no more coward coaching, number one. Takeaways on defense, number two, and I guess this is really in no particular order. Uh, not garbage special teams. That actually might be number one. Uh, the offensive line stays healthy, and Dak Prescott continues to grow. That's 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 my, my top five, I guess, from the second. Now, what you guys might not even know you need is this Cowboys 4th of July shirt. There's something just perfectly apt about a 4th of July shirt for America's team. 20% off at chatsports.com slash Cowboys Fourth. That link is in the comments and in the description. That way you can rep America's team on America's Day. It's chatsports.com slash Cowboys Fourth. Cowboys are number one. Where do you think our DB group is ranked in the NFL? Not great. Uh, it's not the worst in the NFL, but it's probably in the bottom third. Like, you don't have a legitimate number one safety. You don't have a, a legitimate number one corner. You've got guys you can play. You've got guys you can start. I'd feel vastly different if Byron Jones or, or Jamal Adams came, came to this organization and team, but I, I don't have a ton of confidence in it. There are some intriguing players, but you shouldn't feel great about that secondary. There's just not enough proven ability. All right, Dak attack. With the unknown about LVE's injury, what would you say to trading for someone like a Ryan Kerrigan of, uh, from Washington? Where Ryan Kerrigan doesn't help you with late games. So, and I, I, this is a, a very confusing point, so I'll make it again. Ryan Kerrigan is a linebacker for the Redskins. The Redskins have run a 3-4 deep. That makes Ryan Kerrigan a linebacker like DeMarcus Ware was a linebacker for the Cowboys. In reality, he is an edge rusher. Kerrigan would take care of your need opposite DeMarcus Lawrence. Kerrigan wouldn't help you at all with Leighton Vanderesh. And if, even with the uncertainty around LVE, probably don't want to throw a bunch of assets at another linebacker because that spots the running back of the defense anyway. All right, Jay Cochran, who has more to prove, McCarthy or Prescott? That's a really good question, Jay. Um, you guys can cast your votes, by the way. M for McCarthy, P for Prescott. I think I might go with the quarterback. It's not always fair. The quarterback gets the blame when things go poorly, even if it's not his fault. And if Prescott gets paid, there's going to be a lot of pressure on him. McCarthy might get it an extra year, so even or will get an extra year regardless of what happens this year. So I'm going to go P for Prescott. Dallas 2-1-4-1-9. The Jets really want Lael for Jamal Adams. Um, also, I believe this is a clever reference to the Cowboys triplets, 21-4 and 19-19. Nice. Um, Allegedly, yeah, they, they want Jamal, they want Lael Collins, and they're never going to get Lael Collins from the Dallas Cowboys. Like, 
doesn't make sense on the field and it makes massively negative sense from a monetary perspective. Like it would cost the Cowboys about 10 million this year to trade Leo Collins in addition to what he already cost. So the money for an Adams extension is gone because you had to trade away Collins. Terrible idea. King J, would you have any interest in bringing back any more former Cowboys players, i.e. Bennett, Austin, or is there another free agent that makes sense for this team? Of those two, I would probably explore Tavon Austin. because I think I could use him on special teams only as a number four receiver. That, that, that intrigues me a little bit. I'm sure you guys are going to say Des Bryant, but he doesn't really make much sense. Secondly, they took Keaton Lamb. I said, let's see what camp looks like. I think at some level you want to see what the young guys can do. King J, what can be done to sure up tight end number two behind Jarwin? Go trade for somebody. Uh, does, does Delaney Walker fix your tight end two need? Maybe. Um, I, I get the concern behind Schultz and Ble and, and, or with Schultz and Blake Bell. I would operate under this assumption instead that let's just assume Jarwin's healthy, and if he gets hurt, then let's try and adjust and go trade for a bigger name like a David and Joker or an O.J. Howard. But I don't necessarily want to give up an asset for a player that, if everything goes according to plan, doesn't make much of an impact. So, yeah, guys like Howard would fix that issue. But as expensive as it might become, I would rather wait to see what ends up happening on that front. From Brandon, is Tony Romo the better quarterback compared to Dak? So far for their careers, yeah, it's Romo. First off, Romo was forever underrated by even some Cowboys fans out there. Dak's also only played four years. So totality of career, clearly Romo. For where they were at at this particular age in, in their career, actually clearly Dak because, you know, Romo didn't play at all early on. So it's too early to say for certain, but Romo for me so far. Of course. Noah Regosa. If a Jamal Adams deal were to happen, when would it? Maybe around camp? Like, maybe Adams holds out from the Jets from camp. He has requested a trade that the Jets said no. We'll see. Like, I don't, I don't, I'm not convinced the Jets end up trading him, but if it does happen, maybe it's around closer to camp. Now, here's what I can promise, though, guys. If it does happen, we're going to be live for you. We, we will have the trade details within minutes. We'll, we'll be live for you guys as soon as humanly possible. And that's what we do here at the Cowboys Report. When there's Cowboys stuff, we talk about it. That includes news, rumors, trade ideas, these live Q&As as well. So if you guys haven't already, hit that big red button and subscribe today. Jordan Jamerson with a fake super chat. Uh, do you see us having a top five defense or offense this year? Offense, yes. Defense, no. Uh, I I just, there with that secondary uncertainty, I don't see it being a top 10 defense. Now, maybe some of the, the raw numbers might be lower because the offense will score enough points it'll help things out, and those two are always interconnected. But I, I do not anticipate a top five defense for the Cowboys. Heck, I'd be pumped about a top 15 defense for the Cowboys. All right, Juan Castillo, or Joe Castillo, excuse me, uh, should we go after Yannick? I think there's a Juan Castillo. Also watch this show. I'm sorry about that jump. Should we go after Yannick? No, he's too expensive. Like, I mean, look, you could make it work, but do you want to trade a first round pick and then pay Yannick at least what Demarcus Lawrence makes? I don't. That's just that's not a good roster building. From Salad Jr., would you rather have a Donovan Wilson breakout year than a Xavier Woods breakout year? Because Wilson has more years uh, in terms of when he's going to get an extension. Yeah, it's probably a, a, a smart path there, my friend. If Wilson can have a breakout year, that's good for the Cowboys long term. Because now they've got a cheap young safety with two more years on his deal, as opposed to Xavier Woods' breakout year entering free agency. So that's a very good question. I, I like the way you approach that one. I think Woods is better right now than Wilson, obviously. But if I could pick one... I would go with Donovan Wilson. So speaking of breakouts, A, we did this video, by the way. Check out it. It's on the channel. But I do want to hear from you guys, too. Who will break out on the Cowboys this year? We saw Michael Gallup do it last season. Blake Jarwin's my go-to answer for this question. But I want all of you guys in the comments section to sound off. Let me know who you believe will break out for the Cowboys this 2020 season. I see CeeDee Lamb. 
I don't count first year players as just like cheating because you'd always pick a first round pick. But yeah, I think CD would make sense as an impressive year. I see Jalen Smith. I would like that at no more bounce back candidate. Uh, Greg Zerline. Question. I see how it is. Uh, LVE, I see Cheetah Bewuzie. I would like that one for certain. All right, from A. Shannon, on a scale of 1 to 100, how likely do you think it is the Cowboys get Adams? 100 being guaranteed. You guys cast your votes in the comments. 20, 25. Like, I am not convinced that A, the Jets are going to trade him because they have a lot more leverage than Adams does. And B, I think the Jets are mad at the Cowboys for the way this has gone down. So I, I am going to go with under 30 to 40, under 30 percent. Hey, Cowboys fans. Thanks for watching the Cowboys Report. If you haven't already, click right here to subscribe to our channel for all the best Cowboys coverage on the Internet. That's news, rumors, highlights, mailbags, film studies, and a whole lot more. And I'm making your lives a little bit easier as well with the next Cowboys Report video right here.